Well, we got some parts for our man lift project. Uh, as a recap on this one, uh, we bought this one uh, probably two months or so ago. Nothing was working on it. Um, we did some troubleshooting on it and found diodes were shorted and brakes in the wire, all kinds of problems with it. So the uh, the mechanical parts of it, the hydraulic parts of it, appears to work just fine. Uh, all of the problems are all electrical type problems. And the unit is probably 30 years old. I don't know because there's no serial number on it, um, so I can't look it up. Um, but we do have a wiring diagram for it and a basic, uh, basic service manual. So uh, we tried to uh, fix the wiring and I got it to work for uh, a few minutes and then two more diodes shorted and I, I just kind of give up on the on the electrical. So what's going to happen is I'm going to tear all the existing electrical out and I'm going to start all over again um, and use relays instead of diodes and so on and I'm going to uh, set it up such that it's more easily uh, able to troubleshoot. Uh, so the first step to, in that process is to um, uh, make sure we have the theory of operation correct before we take the old wiring out just to make sure that um, I know how it all works and how all the interlocks all work uh, because once I once I take the wiring out then it's you know I'm committed to uh, um, rewiring it so uh, we just went over uh, the different solenoids to make it uh, um, move and steer all the base components um, recap again, there's two different systems. There's the upper system for the boom functions and then there's the lower system for all the drive functions. So I've set the, uh, um, a quick bit of mess up here for the, uh, for the drive. Utilizing a, um, off the market, um, um, joystick controller and a pulse with modified power supply temporarily wired in just so I can prove that the operations all work before I start tearing wires out. So uh, we'll go over quick how it all how it all goes. Uh, what we have uh, uh, down here, start down here I suppose. What we have down here is two solenoids, one 24 volt solenoid uh, for the uh, um, drive motor which is this hydraulic motor here and then this solenoid is for the hydraulic motor if you can't see it's right in behind there uh, that hydraulic motor is for all the functions up on the deck on the boom functions um, these two solenoids here this one and this one uh, that's what the manual is calling series in that when those two solenoids are active both hydraulic pumps work together to make it go faster and more power these two solenoids here uh, mark those as uh, forward reverse. These two solenoids here are for left and right drive functions. And this one right here is flow control. Uh, flow control um, varies the amount of um, hydraulic fluid for varying the speed. So the way all that, I'm going to wire that up. Go to our whiteboard. Okay, so uh, our first, stop, first uh, step is the um, something like oh sorry let's go that'll be the switch for the solenoid the next um, solenoid we have to activate so there's a number of solenoids we all have to activate in uh, in series in order to make anything work uh, the next one is a flow control solenoid that has to be active and this one of course is uh, variable so I guess that goes something like that is that the right symbol and then we have the actual uh, symbol for sorry the actual solenoid for the function so for example let's drive forward okay so the first thing we have to do is activate the, um, the solenoid switch to make the hydraulic pump turn on and then we have to activate the flow control um, whether that's zero percent or hundred And then we have to activate what actual uh, uh, function we want. So in that case, in this case, forward. So all of these uh, are all common to positive. And then each of these, this goes to uh, pulse width modified power supply. And then this one goes to another switch. Okay, so for this switch, um, 
I've just got a jumper wire on there direct to 24 volt to activate the uh, solenoid. You'll hear the motor turn on and it's very loud. And then I'll activate the, um, the forward, uh, for example, or reverse, I don't know, whichever one comes first there. And um, that will activate that solenoid. Then the uh, flow control will activate that zero to 100%, vary it to see it uh, go faster and slower. So just, just a proof of concept, that's all, to make sure we know how it all works. Send this over right here, I cannot see anything. Okay, we'll try something like that. So solenoid first, to get the hydraulic motor operational. Okay, and then we have the uh, joystick. And then we try to activate Uh, sorry, I, I guess you can't see me turn the, the solenoid switch here, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, turning the solenoid switch, sorry, not turning the solenoid, turning the uh, rheostat to make the uh, flow control go higher or lower amount of, amount of flow. Let's get that out of there so we don't short it. Okay, so that's a uh, very quick proof of concept that everything... Oh shoot, i got to move forward again now. i got to move forward again. It's in the way here. Uh, proof of concept to make sure everything um, works as I had expected it to, uh, so that we don't have any surprises once I tear all the wiring up. So we want to... Okay, let's take that off. Take all that off, and we'll disconnect the battery. Okay, so now all those wires can all fall down. Okay, so I can tear all those wires out now. Now that we know it all uh, does as we as we want it to, with the left, right, and forward and reverse. Okay, that's it for today.